Dr. Jones heads the Northern Haemophilia Center in Newcastle, where this week's AIDS conference is being held. Factor 8 is literally a lifesaver for many of the country's 5,000 or so haemophiliacs. It replaces the missing clotting agent in their blood. Screening has shown that more than 1,000 have already developed AIDS antibodies, which means they've been given infective medication. 13 suffer from the syndrome itself. But what Dr. Jones is worried about are cases identified since heat treatment of factor 8 was introduced. It's supposed to be a fail-safe method of killing the virus. In the last few weeks, we have heard of four cases in the world where the virus seems to have got through some of the methods of heat treatment of the commercial concentrates. One of those cases, certainly from the Netherlands, looks as though it is a genuine case of breakthrough. The discovery of a system of making factor 8 by extracting the vital protein from blood revolutionized life for haemophiliacs. Other treatments are time-consuming and inefficient. All plasma is screened for evidence of the AIDS virus, but doctors say it's too big a risk to rely on that method alone, especially when it takes between 6 and 8,000 pints of plasma to produce one batch of factor 8. If a single pint is infected, it will taint all the factor 8. So now it's heat treated, but in a variety of different ways. It may be the temperature and the time which the factor 8 is heated is the critical factor. And there have been various recipes proposed for this. And uh, indeed, it is tending now to become longer. For instance, our national laboratory, who produced the factor 8 within the health, uh, National Health Service, uh, are uh, heating it at 80 degrees for three days. And it may be that it requires this degree of heat uh, to be absolutely safe. The problem is that Britain still makes less than half the factor eight it needs. The central blood laboratories in North London won't be fully on stream for another year. Until then, it'll all have to be imported. And yet more haemophiliacs could join the others that Dr. Jones is so concerned about, the ones infected before the AIDS risk was appreciated. The slow abavan, which I referred to, this development, is the engulfment of an entire generation of people who have been infected with the AIDS-related virus as a result of the contamination of their medical treatment. And it seems to me that it is touching every aspect of their lives. For instance, they can no longer get life insurance and therefore mortgage endowment. They are in many ways like the people damaged by vaccines. And I believe that this small group of people, it's between 1,200 and 2,000 people, should uh, receive compensation from society. Researchers are working on the ultimate solution, the manufacture of artificial factor eight but that's still some years away. Meanwhile this evening, the Department of Health refused to comment on Dr. Jones' plea for compensation and insisted that there's no evidence that any haemophiliac who's received heat-treated factor 8 has developed AIDS antibodies.